back with another video on easy math in previous video on limits we we found about basics on limits okay now in this video we'll discuss some topics okay now first let's discuss what if left left tendency is equal to the right tendency okay you may ask what is the left tendency and what is the right tendency in previous video on introduction on limits we found that we can take a point which comes towards the required point from left side or right side. The point which comes from left side or approaching the required value from left side is called as left, left tendency and approaching the required point from right side is called as right tendency. Okay, now let's discuss a case where left tendency is equal to right tendency. What does it mean? Okay, if left tendency is equal to right tendency, then the let's take the left tendency is equal to right tendency and x is equal to a. Then f of a is equal to l. Then we, we can mention that limit x tends to a. f of x is equal to l. Means the limit is possible at that particular value. Okay, now what if left tendency is not equal to right tendency? Okay, this is the common doubt. Okay, here if left tendency is equal to the right tendency, then as you can see in this picture, the left tendency is not equal to right tendency. Then the meaning of this is limit x tends to a f of x is not defined is not defined okay now let's see something new okay now from this you may have okay from this you will have been confirmed that limit limit should be only numbers but it is wrong limits not only should have numbers if we take in this case here what is the limit extends to zero as you can see as extends to zero it goes towards infinity okay here the limit extends to zero is infinity this is also a possible limit means in limits we should not only get numbers we can get values like infinity or minus infinity as in this case there are some there are some series to find the limits of that particular values okay let's see these are some of the series in this series there are some useful series frequently used series expansions Okay, the first series is e power x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus and so on. Okay, now the second expansion is that a power x is equal to 1 plus x log a by 1 factorial plus log a, log a whole square into x square by 2 factorial and so on where a is positive real numbers. In these two cases, a should be positive real number. Okay, now the third series. The third series is that 1 plus x whole power n. The value of 1 plus x whole power n is 1 plus n x by 1 factorial plus n into n minus 1 x square by 2 factorial plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 x cube by 3 factorial less and so on until n belongs to r and modulus x is less than 1. Our fourth expansion. Our fourth expansion is log 1 plus x. The log of 1 plus x is equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 plus and so on. Where minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 means x is in between minus 1 and 1. The fifth expansion is x power n minus a power n by x minus a. 
is equal to x power n minus 1 plus x power n minus 2 into a plus x power n minus 3 into a square plus and so on until a power n minus 1. Our sixth expansion. The sixth expansion is that 1 plus x whole power 1 by x is equal to e into 1 minus x by 2 plus 11x square by 24 plus and so on. Yes, now let's take our next expansion. The next expansion is sin x is equal to the expansion of sin x is x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus x power 7 by 7 factorial plus and so on. Now cos x. Cos x can be expanded as 1 minus x squared by 2 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial minus x power 6 by 6 factorial plus and so on. Okay now tan x. What is the expansion of tan x? As you can see tan x is equal to x plus x cube by 3 plus 2 by 15 x power 5 plus 17 by 315 x power 7 plus and so on. Okay, now if we go to inverse trigonometry, the sine inverse x can be expanded as x plus 1 square by 3 factorial x cube plus 1 square into 3 square by 5 factorial x power 5 plus 1 square into 3 square into 5 square by 7 factorial x power 7 plus and so on. Now, our 11th expansion, it is tan inverse x. Tan inverse x can be expanded as x minus x cube by 3 plus x power 5 by 5 plus and so on. Then our 12th expansion, our 12th expansion is secant inverse x is equal to 1 plus x square by 2 factorial plus 5x power 4 by 4 factorial plus 61x power 6 by 6 factorial plus and so on. Okay, our 13th expansion. The 13th expansion is sine inverse x whole square is equal to 2 by 2 factorial x square plus 2 into 2 square by 4 factorial x power 4 plus 2 into 2 square plus 4 2 into 2 square into 4 square by 6 factorial into x power 6 plus and so on. 14th one. The 14th expansion is x cot x means cot x multiplied by x is equal to 1 minus x cube by 3 plus x power 4 by 45 minus 2 into x power 6 by 945 plus and so on. Okay, our 15th expansion. The 15th expansion is the expansion of secant x. Secant x is equal to 1 plus x squared by 2 plus 5 x power 4 by 24 plus 61 x power 6 by 720 plus and so on. Okay, x cosecant x. The expansion of x cosecant x is equal to 1 plus x square by 6 plus 7 x power 4 by 360 plus 31 x power 6 by 18,120 plus and so on. Okay, now let's take a point. An important note is that using the above formula, we can define any other trigonometric expression. For example, if you want sine square x. Sin square x is equal to 1 minus 2x by 2, right? If you substitute the cos expansion in that, you will get the value. Okay, now the important note is that let's take some important note on infinity. What is infinity? Okay, infinity is this symbol is a symbol of infinity and not a number. Okay. The infinity means the behavior of variable which continuously increases and passes through the positive limits. Means the statement x is equal to infinity is not is meaningless. You should write x tends to infinity because x can't have a value which is not a number, right? It can only have complex values. Com here complex values means values with complex numbers. Okay, now we should write that x tends to infinity. Okay, similarly minus infinity is also symbol. It is, it continuously decreases and passes through all limits. x is equal to minus infinity is meaningless. We should write as x tends to minus infinity. And another thing is if x tends to infinity, then 1 by x tends to 0. 
and if x tends to minus infinity then also 1 by x tends to 0 okay now we have some following concepts based on infinity based on infinity okay now another thing is we can plot infinity on paper we can plot infinity on paper but infinity does not obey laws of algebra and the thing is infinity plus infinity is infinity and infinity minus infinity is indeterminable or indeterminate and infinity into infinity is equal to infinity it is also indeterminate 0 into infinity is also infinity ok guys now the next one is a by infinity is 0 if a is finite a shouldn't be infinity because infinity by infinity is indeterminate the concept is a by 0 is undefined if a is not equal to 0 a by 0 is not defined ok Another thing is 0 by 0, infinity by infinity, infinity minus infinity, 1 power infinity, 0 power 0, infinity power 0, infinity into 0 are all indeterminate forms. Take limit x tends to 1, x square minus 1 by x minus 1 is 0 by 0, indeterminate form. And limit x power n minus a power n by x minus a is also 0 because it is also indeterminate. Another way to solve this, you will find this. Next. Okay, now let's take some concepts left hand and right hand limits. As we said before, the value of the the value of the f of x if we approach that from left hand side is called as left hand limit. If we approach from right hand side, it is called as right hand limit. Okay, now how to denote them? Okay, left hand limit is denoted as f of a minus 0 or f of a minus and right hand limit is denoted by f of a plus 0 or f of a plus and they are written as f of a minus 0 is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h f of a plus 0 is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h where h is a small positive number. Ok now for existence of limit to find whether it is existed or not it is necessary that f of a minus 0 is equal to f of a plus 0 if they are these are finite means if these two are finite then they should be equal or f of a minus 0 and f of a plus 0 both should be either plus infinity or minus infinity then the left hand and right hand limits ok guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash the subscribe button ring that bell icon and don't forget to when I release a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i will answer them in the next video in next, in next video on limits we are discussing about how to find values of limits